I'm sure you have read about all the reports, all the allegations against Xinjiang from the international media. Uh, do you have some better understanding now that you visited this place? Yes, certainly. This is now all world news uh, full by such uh, information about such uh, non-property. Uh, but I can say that in the uh, cotton area, if we look at and we could see this uh, 84, now this year they plant 85% of cotton will be harvested by machine. And this machine produced in Aksu, the Aksu is one of the main cotton producers. That is why uh, I can say that uh, technology which is used in the cotton production very impressive. And at the same time we visited in Aksu textile company were uh, very modern, they are very, there are many, uh, there is not hand work, it is very less, 5,000, uh, I can say, uh, uh, employees, 90% of local ethnic uh, people, uh, Uyghurs and Kazakhs and others who represented there, and I can say that uh, their uh, life conditions, we could see not only uh, place of where they work in these very modern textile machines, uh, each uh, textile producing country could dream about having such machine. And we visited their living uh, area where they're living uh, and uh, eating area, kitchen, where they uh, had the chance uh, free of charge. This, But if they would like to have more, they can pay for them. It is choice to them. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, as a Muslim for them, it is halal uh, pr uh, produced cuisine. And at the same time, salary, what is important salary, they have from 600 till 900 dollars per month salary. It is, I can say that it is one of the highest for developing countries in textile industry. Mm -hmm. It is impressive. Uh, and uh, I can compare with the salary in uh, our countries. That's why I could say that uh, this uh, before uh, make such a statement, any site, it first of all should come and to see. And in our countries, our uh, Asian people said, then 100 times to hear, it is more important one times to come and to see. But, yeah. Yeah, but some people are saying, look, Xinjiang is not open, it's not transparent, they don't let people, they don't want people to see, or they show you, they only want to show you certain things and not the other. What, is, what, is, what do you say to them? I do not agree with such statement, and because uh, uh, today for Xinjiang not to be open, it is unimpossible. Un, un, un it's, it's impossible. Yeah, impossible, yes. Uh, impossible, that is, yes. Because, why? Because economy developing, the relationship of China, this, uh, and Xinjiang region with others. Xinjiang have the common border with eight countries of ACO, besides Uzbekistan. It is uh, Mongolia and uh, Kazakhs, uh, Russia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Pakistan. So relationship till in pandemia time, where certainly some restriction it is going on. In, China, in uh, Xinjiang, uh, last year was 180 million tourists. Before pandemia, they had uh, perhaps 70 million foreign tourists, not Chinese. And this year they uh, accepting, um, uh, planning to have 200 million tourists, but in 2025, 400 million. So it is where tourists, if can visit tourists, there is not restriction how we can say that it is closed. No, it is, I'm not agree with this because we had chance to see uh, everything, what we wanted and to go anywhere where I would like to go. That's why, but the uh, program was so uh, tough that we uh, had no time for rest. <laughs> <laughs> everything is was possible. Yeah. I Last, what I can say, uh, I important, I think the role of Xinjiang and the uh, uh, trade economic development of SEO countries is growing. Transport infrastructure is important. Xinjiang playing important role in Hargos, Alashankau, this on Kazakhstan, China border. Uh, and now we planning to develop construction in the Royal Road, China, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, and, uh, and, con uh, and tracks delivering groups, uh, goods by truck from Uzbekistan through Kyrgyzstan to Kashgar and from Tajikistan the same, from Kashgar to uh, uh, Kyrgyz body, it is 91 kilometers. And such, we, uh, we had a video conference with uh, Alibaba and with uh, Kashgar city administration, talking about uh, implementing project for developing a logistics center, for developing transport e-commerce. We visited now, today morning, Nan Center 
we could see there, uh, I, we impressed it. I personally, we, because the same naan we producing in our country, a lot so. Uh, you mean the Xinjiang bread? Xinjiang bread. Yeah. It is bread, it is made, it uh, is specialized, it is, it is impressing. And in parallel, they are selling it through a packaging, very modern, uh, the, uh, and packaging and selling it to, through uh, the electronic uh, uh, e-commerce. Mm -hmm. Two ladies promoting it. Impressive. That's why such logistic center, if we could construct on the border with Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan with the Alibaba and the government, we will talk about it. So trade, uh, the uh, growth of economic growth and importance of Xinjiang will grow much more than today.